conceptual Jay sounded better than Jay Prince. People talk Real about talk, it. I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements. Forgotten, and uh, I hope everybody's starting their day off with a heart full of gratitude. I know that's what I try to do, regardless of what I'm going through, or uh, maybe even what I'm feeling inside. I still find a reason to be grateful and to have gratitude in my heart. And today is just for the gift of life, it's for the people that God has blessed me with, my beautiful family, and me being able to take care of myself, to do for myself, is it, and being able to just live. It's, it's, it's so much to be grateful for. So I thank God for that, especially with, with us coming out of the pandemic. And there were so many lives lost during this time. And so many people are grieving right now. I think that we need to step back if we're still here to just say, thank you, God, that I made it through. Uh, not that those people that lost their lives were, what weren't worthy, but for whatever reason, it was their time. And so we just have to thank God that we're still here. Uh, even against everything that we're going through right now. So I suggest, or I would love for you guys to start your morning off with gratitude and prayer. <coughs> Please excuse me. <clears throat> I haven't taken my allergy medicine. I feel like sometimes I'm allergic to the world. If I don't pop an allergy pill first thing in the morning, I really catch it. But, um, Today's message is, is about parenthood and guilt. Parenthood and guilt. I want to get this message out to parents and even their children. You know, their grown children, their adult children. And uh, I see too many parents walking around here with their heads down and feeling ashamed because they couldn't give their children what their children felt like they needed. Well, I tell you what, if you birth them out of your, if you birth them out of your body, women, and if men, you know, you planted the seed and, and but you were not on, you weren't just a, a sperm donor. You are actual living live father. That was a part of your child's life. And you love them and you care for them. You worked for them. You sacrifice for them. Even if they felt like, well, they didn't have the best of everything. So what? You got out, you, you put a roof over their head. They had food in the, in the ice box and you took care of them and you carried them all the way to their adulthood. And now that you're done, you're done. Do not feel guilty behind your grown children coming back and saying, well, you know what? I didn't have this or I didn't have that or you didn't give me this do you if you literally did the best that you could for your children then you've done enough there is no reason to have any guilt attached to you being the best parent that you knew how to be because we literally do the best that we can in parenting you know there there is no lesson God for being a good parent you just got to figure that mess out you got to figure it out and so I say this to say, even with the worst parents out there, you know, they had to learn how to be the worst parent from somebody else. And then they had to learn from somebody else. Uh, but even if we're not at our, at our very best, and I could bring it home with a, a story about my mother, Doris Myers, um, God rest her soul. I know that she's at rest now. She's not suffering. Or anything like that so I'm at peace with that but my mother had a lot of guilt in her, inside of her that it just broke her heart all the time when she thought about uh, some of the things that I went through as a child and as you know with my children what I mean not my children but what I went through as a child and what my siblings my brothers went through as children and she was guilty that she allowed herself to stay in an abusive relationship with my father and she saw the damage that it done to us but i'm gonna say this even though yes it did affect us in a deep way we experienced trauma from as early as i can remember me and my brothers experienced trauma 
and I'm not saying that she isn't culpable in the situation of staying with my father and I'm not saying that my dad isn't to blame because he was the abuser what I am saying even in the most worst situation that you can even imagine being in as a child you still have to respond now I'm speaking to youth adults you you still have the responsibility to take whatever your parents gave you and turn something into it something great into it regardless of what they gave you it is your responsibility to turn it into something phenomenal to be better than your parents were not to point the blame and not to make anybody feel guilty behind how your life has turned out or how your life is turning out your life is turning out in a way if it's not turning out um it's best as you would like it you have to look within yourself you have to look within your own um decisions and choices that you are making and if they're not to your liking you have to change that about yourself and i'm saying that because even though me and my brothers didn't have the best upbringing and we went through a lot of trauma i choose to to take to, i took all of that but i still honored my parents I honor my father to this day. I will never disrespect him. I will never uh, belittle him. Sometimes I have to keep my distance because a lot about him has not changed, but I still love him. I still pray for him and I still honor him. The staying with my mother when she was alive, I whatever I could do for her, it was hers because I had a forgiving heart. I forgave her. I forgave my father. So I was able to be a better parent because of that. So I didn't hold on to the guilt because I could have held on to the guilt my whole life. I could have been angry. I could have destroyed my life. I could have went out there and used drugs. I could have did whatever just because I was so angry or because I had so much trauma in me. I could have just gave up on life, but I didn't. I didn't and I owe that to God and I owe that to my grandmother because she showed me there was another way of doing something. I'm saying all of this because even if you had the most worst upbringing, it is no, it is no, uh, it's not gonna do you any good to hold on to that unforgiveness in your heart and to try to make your parents feel guilty behind how they reared you or stuff that you didn't have or stuff that you didn't get because it's only gonna destroy you. And I would see my mother, she carried that within her. And I remember telling her one time, I said, mom, you have no reason to feel guilty. You did the best you could for your children. With, with everything that you were given as a child yourself, you literally did the best you could with us. And I love you and I appreciate you because you are my mother. My mother meant the world to me. She meant every, if I could have took her in, and took care of her and take took and took if I could have took all the pain out of her heart I would have because she was my mother I loved her I honored her I did whatever I could to make her happy as happy as long as she was here but not once did I say because of you mom I'm effed up because of you mom I I can't get this shit right and this is just me being real I didn't say that. I looked at my own decisions and choices. I went and got the help that I needed for me because of the trauma that I experienced. So I, I took responsibility for my own life. I didn't blame my mother or my father. I had to do something different. I wanted my children to have better. I wanted to be a better parent. So I took initiative to change me. So any parent around here walking around with guilt, stop it. If you know you literally did the best that you could and you worked and you sacrificed and you put yourself last all the time to love them, to nurture them, to take care of them, then you've done all you had, then you, you're done. You know, you're done. You don't allow a kid, an ungrateful, and I'm going to be real right now, excuse my language but you don't allow an ungrateful ass kids kid to make you feel guilty behind what they feel like you didn't do for them when you've literally done your best i see it happening every single day every single day i hear the stories 
and and the parents are walking around like i failed my child you know they keep telling me i didn't do this or i didn't do that or i wasn't the best this and i did you raise them you raised them right yeah i raised them what well, well did you work yeah i worked did you put them through school yeah i put them through school they had all their school supplies their their clothing every their shoes everything they need even when i didn't even have shoes you know, I would go to work and I'm speaking from experience. I would go to work with old run over shoes on to make sure my children had nice shoes. See, stuff like that. If you, if you put others before yourself as a parent, then you've done your part. You've done all that you can do. Don't allow any ungrateful child make you feel like you didn't do the best that you could now it's up to them what are they going to take and do with the life that you've given them they can change it and make it better and, and, and excel and i don't want to hear no excuses about being poor because there's so many examples of people that grew up in poverty that actually did something with themselves and they turned their lives around so that's not an excuse anymore it's not an excuse you can do something with your life, but it's gonna have to be you. You have to take accountability. Now, I know there's some parents out there that have abandoned their children. I'm not talking about those people. But even if they, they did not raise you, they abandoned you, they showed you the wrong way, they used drugs, they were alcoholics, they were abusers, you still have a responsibility to yourself to be better. You have to cho choose another way. And sometimes we can't do that by ourselves. We have to have our, our source to help us, and that's God. We have to develop a personal relationship with God so that we can ask Him for our help. And then not only do we need God's help, we may need some type of mental help. And I know that mental help is frowned upon in our communities, but... We all may, we all need it in some way or another. Not one person walking this earth is not going to be affected by this world in some way, negative way. It, it's, it's just out there. It's going to happen. Sometimes there's things that we need to figure out we cannot do by ourselves and it's okay. Go get the help that you need so that you can become a healthy, and I say that a lot, a healthy, productive person because that should be the ultimate goal. A lot of people, their ultimate goal is to become financially fit or wealthy or rich. But you can't really enjoy that wealth if you're broken inside, if you can't figure out what's going on with you, why you have all these material belongings, but you still have no joy, you still have no peace, and nothing satisfies you. There is something you still need to work on. There is something within you that has to be fixed and healed. So I wanted to bring this up because it's an important topic. And I know uh, many of us, because I was a young mother, I was a young parent. Many of us, we walk around with guilt on us because, you know, we didn't know how to be a parent. We may not have the best role models in front of us, so we had to learn and figure it out. But that doesn't mean that you have to be ha hold on to that guilt and let it destroy you inside. When you've literally done the best that you can do, you have to reckon that. You have to say, look, I did the best I could by you. If that's not enough, I'm sorry, but I'm done. You will no longer hold that over my head so that I can be your puppet, so that I can, can, can continue to enable you not to grow up and be an adult. No, it's time for you to take your own, you have to take up, you have to take up your own life and do something with it. I can't do it any longer. You're gonna to have to decide whether that father was never there, whether that mother was never there, this life is about you. This is your responsibility now. What are you gonna do about it? Stop having a lifetime pity party. That pity party doesn't mean anything to anyone. And quite frankly, the people around you are probably tired of hearing the same story. Get up off your ass and do something about it. 
it's your responsibility so this message is for two this is for uh two different audiences it's for the parent that's having that's holding on to guilt and it's for the young adult that feels like their parent wasn't good enough or didn't do enough for them it's that's the two audiences i'm trying to reach today because this this stuff has to stop we have to grow up and take on our own accountability it wasn't until i took on my own accountability that i changed my life i literally changed my life nobody owed me nothing if i was going to do something with my life i was going to have to do it for myself leaning on god asking him to direct my path asking him for his love and his grace and his forgiveness and his supernatural power God redeemed me he restored me and he changed my mindset you have to change the way that you think you you cannot think like you can't be you can't go into your 40s thinking like you were in your 20s that's that's not gonna work you know if you keep doing everything the same way you're gonna keep getting the same results and what is that is what is that called it's called insanity we don't have to stay insane for the rest of our lives. We can change our minds. So I hope that this helps somebody. And um, I like to come at everybody real. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but it was something that was on my mind that I'm passionate about. And um, I'm just letting all the single mothers out there know and all the single fathers out there know. If you literally did the best you could, even if you felt like you wanted to do more, but you know you worked you know two and three jobs sometimes you sacrifice so that, that your children could have and all you hear is complaints and what you didn't do hey you need to say i've done enough i did all i could by you now it's, it's up to you what you're going to do with your life and you got to let that go relationship you might have to back out the relationship for a while um, until they can respect you and appreciate you for the parent that you really were to them you know and it, it doesn't feel good but sometimes you have to back away from children that don't appreciate all the hard work and dedication that you put into loving them and, and supporting them and providing for them even if the other parent wasn't there the p other parent was nowhere around and you got this mother that's there she's been there consistently breaking her back to give you the things that you need and you still ungrateful shame on you so this video is for the parents don't hold on into any guilt if you know you literally done the best you could with what you had and this is even going out to, to women that are, uh, are single moms that may not be working because they can't for whatever reason. And they may have government assistance. If you know that you're, you, you're creating a, um, a loving home environment and uh, your children are safe and they're, they're protected and they're covered, even if that's you, you st if you're doing literally the best that you can, that is good enough. You are a good mother and don't let nobody make you feel bad for it. You doing this thing by yourself and your kids are protected and you don't have different people in and out of your home so you don't have to worry about your kids safety. And you're providing for them and they, you know, hey, look, you're, you, ha you shouldn't have any guilt either. And this is going out to the fathers. The mothers are not involved in the child's life they don't give any child support they don't see their children they don't do anything and you're busting your tail to to make a way then you don't let your kids have put no guilt over your head either when they get grown and they say well i didn't have mom well that wasn't my fault you didn't have your mom i i was there in the trenches i was there remember that parents you were there in the trenches you done your part you're done now what they do with their life after they're grown is up to them. That's even for parents that, you know, you did everything right. You had, there was a mother in a the home, there's a father in a home. You reared these children right. You put them in the best schools, the best situations possible. And then they go off and they go left. 
and they go use drugs or they go destroy their lives and then they want to hold that shit over your head but you done you you done did above and beyond come on now you're done you know we can love our adult children all we want to but it's up to them what kind of life they're gonna live when they go off and say okay i'm grown and i'm not gonna take much longer because i done made it to the gym but when they grow up and they feel like I'm grown, my parents can't tell me anything because I'm going to do what I want to do. Well, guess what? That comes with consequences. You know, you were grown. You did what you had to do. All of that stuff that's happening to you now, it ain't got nothing to do with me. That's your choice. So we're going to hold them accountable. And we're going to take the guilt away from our own heads. And we're going to say, thank you, God, because you got me through that. It, you know, being a single mom or a single parent is not easy. And I give and I give props to anybody that did it. There's no reason to hold your head down and say, but I didn't do enough. No, you did enough. You gave them life and you provided for them and loved them and nurtured them throughout throughout the way. So so you've done your part, you know, bask in that. Know that. You are a good parent that you did the best that you could by your children and you're not going to allow anybody to make you feel guilty about that. So again, this, this message is for two different audience, audiences. It's for the single parent or it's for parents in general. And it's for the young adults that feel like their parents ruined their lives. This, this, this is, message is, is for both of you. We need to do better, you guys. We have to hold ourselves accountable and stop blaming everybody else for our life choices and our life decisions. Again, I love you guys. I wish you nothing but a prosperous new year. And I, and I wish that we all change our minds so that we can ultimately change our lives and become healthier, productive people. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you, bye-bye. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time you know outside of the businesses that i run like myriad business solutions the visionetics institute odyssey media group i also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh in houston dallas and other areas uh i'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the odyssey project is doing in the inner cities uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Uh, people talk Real about talk, it, I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements.